There have been 862 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. My mission, for every single one, say something nice. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. Today we are talking about Time and the Rani Part 4. Time and the Rani Part 4 got 4.9 million viewers and look, by now you all know that I absolutely love this story. Shall we have a look at the photo again? Yeah, exactly. Now obviously Mel doesn't get trapped in a bubble this episode, so instead I am going to be talking about the music. Now, Kef McCulloch's music in Doctor Who is rather a polarising subject, and I don't think every single score he does is brilliant, but I do think the music for Time and the Rani is really great. And one piece I particularly love is the Doctor's heroic theme that Kef composes. Now, other composers had used the Doctor Who theme in their incidental music before. Dudley Simpson sort of played with the notes a bit to give the Doctor a sort of departure theme at the end of some stories. Peter Howell used it in Megloss. But here, Kef McCulloch really goes to town. I absolutely love the Doctor's theme music in the incidental music while the Doctor is rescuing all the geniuses from the Rani's lab and they're all running out of that huge quarry. And you know, usually a quarry in Doctor Who you go, eh, yeah, whatever, but there's a real sense of scale here and that brilliant music, I'll play a little bit of it now to hopefully not get copyright struck. Here it is. This is triumphant. This is the new Doctor saving people, saving a planet, and saving the universe from the machinations of the Rani. Now, I think part of why I love this era so much is that this is the first Doctor Who I saw live instead of pre-recorded, so it's always going to hold a special place in my heart. But I do see people talking about Sylvester McCoy's debut season a lot more charitably than they did in the 80s and 90s. And that's wonderful to me because it's flawed due to being rushed, but there is a real sense of newness and freshness and heroism in the character that had perhaps fallen by the wayside in previous series. And it's so well represented by that beautiful, beautiful piece of music. And that's something really nice about Time and the Rani Part 4. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and stay safe, wash your hands and I will see you in the next video.